Hey you guys, it's Brandy from Eternal Harvest Home Decor and today I'm coming at you from my balcony workshop. So we have moved out of my previous workshop and we are building a home with a new shop in the garage and in the meantime, we're in an apartment and this apartment doesn't have any space for me to work. So I decided to start building on my balcony. If you guys follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, you've seen some of those videos. And my very first balcony built project is a washer and dryer shelf that goes up along just like this above my washer and dryer. One of the tricks for this project was that I didn't want to have to anchor it to the wall. This is a temporary space we'll be living. They really don't want holes in the walls. We're only here for a few months. So I wanted to build this in a way that it would be sturdy enough to sit above the washer and dryer, hold the supplies that I need it to, and not be a hazard. So. When I was designing everything up in SketchUp, originally the idea was for it to have a door on the front that would swing up to a 90 degree or so and stay there and then be able to be closed. As I was building and going through this process, I realized that that wasn't the best design for this space. Having a door on the front that would swing up or even open on both sides would make it too front heavy and top heavy and make it a falling hazard. So I had to come up with another way to hide the stuff that you don't want to see in the laundry room, the bleach bottle, all sorts of junk that could just be tucked away where people wouldn't see it, but still accessible in case I needed it. So that was one of the tricks. The other trick is that when you're building on a balcony like this, let me show you this space, you guys. This is a really, I mean, as far as balconies go, it's pretty big, but for building and shop space, it's teeny. It's like six feet by five feet. So the other challenge for that was making sure that I had enough space to build something that was almost six feet wide out here in my little tiny balcony shop. There's enough space for my little workbench, which is necessary when you have tools. Um, and then on the floor, I had to find another way. I was able to lay six foot pieces out lengthwise here in order to start the assembly process. And obviously I'll take you through, show you each step and how I did things. But keep in mind, this is a really small space to be building on, but it's possible. And one of the reasons I started the whole balcony builds process in series was to show people that it doesn't matter what your space looks like. You can still build things and get things done and make projects that you need in whatever space you have. And I'll go over some of the tools that I used. I have some smaller tools that I bought for the balcony only, and that's all I needed to build this entire washer dryer setup. So stick around, let me show you how. Okay, so here's what I had to start with. It's just your typical laundry room. And in this apartment, they provided the washer and dryer, which is a top loader. Normally I have a front loader, so this is just a temporary situation. One of the first tools that I bought for this balcony build series and for my balcony shop was this tiny heart miter saw. This is a seven and a quarter inch miter saw. I immediately threw one of my favorite spider blades on here. This is the framing seven and a quarter inch blade and it helps me to cut through things a little easier. I'm also using my DeWalt um, drill and driver. And these are the stains I chose. And all of this will be in the description below. I also use this gold paint for some of the decorative pieces. Power Pro screws for the tops and type on glue, of course. You'll definitely need a tape measure and that's about it. You're also gonna need a Craig jig or a pocket hole system of some kind. So Lowe's has some pre-cut and pre-milled lumber called project panels. They're just pine, but I thought they'd be perfect for this project. They're six feet long and 12 inches wide and about three quarter inches thick. Now, since my tiny miter saw would not be able to cross cut across 12 inches, which is how wide these are, I decided to use them at the standard height and width that they were already set to. So this washer and dryer unit will be six feet across and six feet tall. I put pocket holes at the ends of all three shelving pieces and I did about four pocket holes at each side. Now if you did need to cut across the 12 inches, you could use a circular saw or a hacksaw, handsaw. Um, I would not recommend a jigsaw, they tend to not cut very straight. One of the tricks to working on a balcony though is keeping it very clean. So I've been trying to clean up after each part of the process. 
Now the pocket holes are all drilled and I decided to get some one by threes to help support each shelf. So I'm laying this down in my balcony and cutting the same length as the shelving units will be. So each one by three is gonna be six feet long. Then I'm pocket holing the ends of those as well. Once the pocket holes are all finished, it's time to measure out and mark up where each shelf is going to go. So I grab my tape measure and I'm putting the bottom shelf or the first shelf four feet above the ground. So I made that mark and then I used my square to make sure both of them, both the side pieces were even and the marks were straight across. Then I'm using my one and a quarter inch Craig screws to attach each piece. I'll attach the shelf right along that line, and then the one by three right behind it. Now, a lot of these pieces weren't completely straight, and of course on my balcony, I don't have a way to plane them down or join them to straighten them up. So I'm kind of just trying to find the straightest pieces I can and then muscle them together. It worked out really well once I got the top piece on. To attach that top piece, I flipped it over so that the markings I made in the beginning were visible to me underneath, and then I attached with Craig screws right along those lines. The second shelf is 12 inches above the first one, and then the top shelf I inset about a quarter of an inch down from the top. And that's the basic structure. I did take those Power Pro screws and screwed the shelf into the 1x3s from the top down and then I decided to stain it. I'm using a mix between Verithane American Walnut and Minwax Golden Oak to get this color. And once I have it all stained, I decided to go try it out and make sure it fit in its space. had my husband help me carry it in and push it back against the wall as far as it would go. It was super sturdy and now it was time to figure out what I was gonna do to hide all the junk. Earlier, I talked about my original design, which I show here where it had a door along the top. That wasn't gonna work, so instead I grabbed these thin 1 8 inch slats and decided to use those to create a faux door on either side. So I cut each slat to 24 inches, stained them the same color as the rest, and then I wanted a little bling. So I grabbed these one quarter inch pieces and spray painted them gold. When you're on a balcony, you use what you got. So I laid these out and spray painted four pieces gold with that gold spray paint. I really love this gold, it's my favorite. So I attached those slats right at the edge and then used one of those quarter inch scrap pieces as a spacer. And I did two slats and then one gold piece, two more slats and then a gold piece, and then two more slats. I was getting really excited at this point because I was loving how it was coming together. So then I did the exact same thing on the other side, two slats, a gold piece, two slats, a gold piece, two slats. And I felt like this would be enough to hide things behind. I could still kind of see through it to get what I needed to get, but it would hide things enough that they wouldn't be out for everybody to see. So I could still have a nice clean looking laundry room. Now as far as the decor goes, I really tried to keep this on a budget. So each one of these circle pieces that I'm hanging on the wall, I bought all the pieces at the dollar store and made them myself. And I'll be doing separate videos for those as well, um, just dollar store decor. And I think I spent maybe $30 total in decorating this entire space. So you can kind of see some of the things behind my faux doors, but I absolutely love how this came out. 
It was better than I imagined, which rarely happens, <laughs> and I was super excited about it. I've been using it now for almost a month, and it is still looking the exact same way. I'm able to push all the things I don't want to see behind those full doors and keep it looking nice and, and clean. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Always happy to chat. And let me know if you want to know about this decor in the comments down below. Um, and I can do a whole new video about that. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram, Facebook, and on my website, eternalharvestdecor.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time on Balcony Builds with Brandy.